Good day guys, Ping here. Um, today we are going to model this. Okay, so we're going to use curtain curtain wall. So the idea is we can use curtain wall inside of curtain wall to inside of curtain wall to create this. So let's start. So first, uh, create. Let's create a project. So in this project, uh, let's let me just draw some wall so uh, and also um, I don't think it's a good idea to just directly use that uh, curtain wall um, as a ex external wall so I uh, it's better to just use a second layer so outside of this uh, exterior wall so first let me change this one to level one and also I want to add some levels so copy okay so then I'll just uh, copy and paste uh, for the upper levels so align sorry what's that Al align to select levels so level two one at uh, oh, where's two <laughs> we're missing level two okay so now we have the whole building there and go back to floor plan so i'm going to just draw another wall wa let's start from this uh, store front and just draw it in front of that and just make sure exterior is in uh, exterior okay so now this is my curtain wall so now change the top constraint to level four to the top to match that height of this building and maybe just adjust um adjust adjust the the uh, horizontal grids to match that so it looks like 3.8 the edit type and change this one to 3a00 and okay so now we have this okay so this this is the uh, the the first layer of curtain wall and then we need to go into this so we will use panel and use uh, a curtain wall as a curtain panel so we need to create a a next pro uh, so um, curtain curtain wall type so as you can see CW2 it's actually one two three four five six so it need to be six uh, six uh, mullions horizontal mullions and it will be different number of uh, vertical mullions so, so that's why we need another level so for this one let's select this curtain wall CS so I'm going to call this uh, create a new one. So it's called CW2 and OK. And um, I think I uh, don't need to worry about curtain panel for now. Um, I'm going to use number. OK, so it's easier to adjust. OK, so fixed number and the fixed number. And OK, and create it. Okay, so maybe I'll just draw this as a uh, three three point eight high. So that's level one, and just drag it back a little bit. So something like this. So this is okay. So and then because by default the number will be four, and we just need to. So let's check it again. So it will be six horizontal. So uh, my uh, so it should be another two. So. One, two, three, four, four, four vertical. So it will be four vertical, which is correct, and six horizontal. Okay, so this is the next level, and um, and uh, let me just check again. Uh, maybe we don't need. Maybe we don't need grids. Maybe we don't need grid. Oh, sorry. Maybe we don't need mullions. So we need grids, but we don't need mullions for this. I think so. Let's tr let's just uh, change them or to now. You can control C, control V, which is a little bit faster, and delete mullion. And okay, so now okay, so that's good. And this is uh, the next level. Um, and we need to go further. So and then we need to. Uh, Oh hell! Let me check again. Oh, sorry, because we have different number of that, so we don't need a vertical. Sorry, my mistake. So that's fine. We just need to we because we can't type zero in here, so which means we can't use fixed number for vertical grid. So we have to use now apply and delete grid lines. Okay, so now we only have horizontal. 
All right? Good. So now let's go to the next step. So I'll just copy this one. You can use create similar and duplicate. That's the same. You can copy and create a duplicate. Oh, sorry, duplicate type. So for this one, I'm going to call it CW three W three. Um, actually, not CW three yet. Um, CW. I'll just call it number. CW number. Okay. So because this one will be used for, or oh, let me just check again. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll be all interior. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just number. So fixed number and a fixed number. Fixed number. And Molian. Yeah, I'll just leave it now for now. So click OK. And we need for this one, we need to set the curtain panel as empty panel. So let's go. So uh, we don't have it in this project by by default. So we need to go in, load it. It's under under um, curtain wall panel, empty panel. OK, so now we can go edit and set the empty panel as a curtain wall panel. Apply. OK. And OK, I think then what we going to do is because we can't just set a fixed number for for one type we but however, we, we will need to. Um, yeah, this can be a little bit tricky, maybe because we, we were going to have two different CW3 and CW4. CW3 is two horizontal and four vertical. CW4 is two horizontal and eight. So maybe we just need to edit type and uh, I'll rename it this one as CW3. Uh, OK, so CW3 and OK. And then copy this one and edit type will be CW4. CW4. So they are exactly the same. They are exactly the same because you can't just set a fixed number. So you have to do it here. So for example, CW2 will be, uh, hang on, let me just check again. Two horizontal and four vertical. Four vertical. Yeah. So, but where's my vertical? Oh, it's there, but it's not visible. Uh, <laughs> maybe um, we need to create mullions for them now. So let's just select one of those. I'll unpin it so we can edit type, duplicate. Um, maybe I'll use uh, maybe 40 by 40 and then change this one to 40, change this one to 20 and 20. So now that we have 40 by 40, let's pin the back and then we go back to this one. So edit type. So now we have that uh, to choose. So only for interior type, I believe and interior so okay so now we have this okay and then we um we do this one it will be same exactly the same setting but different type so the reason why we use different type is when we can we, we can select it and s or sa select all okay so when we are type sa i won't select this one because they are different type although they are exactly the same thing OK, so for this one, I'm going to use two horizontal and eight vertical. So this is a CW4. Oh, sorry, I forgot to set the mullion internal uh, interior mullion. OK, so apply. OK, and then that's it. So now if we have this one, so this is CW2, right? So if I go, I'll copy this one to here. And I just call this create a new one. I'll call this CW 2.3, um, and then in 2.3. So this is a curtain panel. I'm going to use that CW 3 curtain wall inside as a curtain panel. So it, you will see what it looks like. So now it will, you know, add, use use one of this for each of these panel. So it can create this one. Um, I think we should probably add those um, 
those uh, mullions. So see this one, this one, because we set it uh, to to noun, hor uh, horizontal, yeah, noun. So we just need add. So maybe I'll just add those 150 by 150 to it. So I think that should work. Okay, so this is it. So imagine you just, if I apply that uh, to the CW uh, 2.3, so this will fill this with this one. So, and also you will see the number is actually wrong because by default it's always, it will always four and four. But this one, uh, this one's actually wrong. So it should be two and four. Two, two, um, this is why we set these two types. So we can select one and S A. So this will also automatically pick all these uh, uh, curtain wall type inside this curtain wall. And then we can just easily just type two and it will change all these panels. So don't worry too much for now. So we can change it later. Okay, so now we have this 2.3, oops, sorry, so this one, and I'll just copy this one, and then we can just do edit type, duplicate, I call it 2.4, and just change this one to curtain wall 4, and okay, it will look exactly the same, but don't worry. Okay, so now this is almost done, so we just need to set the panels, okay? So this is 2.3, right, 2.3, and maybe I'll just multi multi multiple uh, select, select some more, and maybe maybe these, I want these to be 2.3, and, um, okay, so, okay, and then I also want to select some, to ch to use 2.4 okay so maybe this and change this to 2. Point, oh sorry wrong one 2.4 okay and then you will see they look exactly the same that's correct uh, because uh, by default the number will always be 4 and 4 uh, still Sorry, it's a bit slow. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe it's this. Uh, let's just click on delete uh, grids. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. So you can see exactly the same. But now what we need to do is we have this one here, or you can just tap, tap, tap until you select that curtain wall three. And then you can say A, select all. So this will pick all the curtain, curtain CW3 inside this and also here. And then you just type, type two. Okay. And then you can also select this one, SA. And you can, for this one, I believe we need eight and two. Apply and this should give us the the final result okay so you can see we have different different panels different different uh so this is one and this is the other one and also you can always change so for for example this one you can you can go back here and change the setting for so for example for the vertical i want them to be uh, you know bigger bigger mullions so you can just change it here and this will um change all the those in in the project in here so you will see it looks um, different again right and yeah so basically this is it and i believe um yeah the other one can be just a solid panel with a little bit uh, pattern or material i don't think uh you need to model them or you can just do extrusion because you can just you know uh, have a panel there so you can just uh, draw something on top of this one so make them a model in place and um you know if it's me i'll just uh, i'll just draw create create something on top of this one so maybe as a solid in the back and just create extrusion set up set up uh, work plan you know it's just draw some shape uh, something like that 
whoops, something like that. And then uh, maybe just uh, add another. So this will create make this as solid as it's void. It's just, just create add a file mail. So to create a little pattern there. So I think this is should be enough. <laughs> okay, so this is it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.